Your purpose in life is to have faith. Your purpose in life is to believe in Jesus. That's your purpose in life. You know, when Jesus, when God, when God sent Jesus to the cross, He had a purpose for every single individual. You say, well, I've never experienced His purpose. Well, let me ask you a question. Have you ever been born again? Have you ever been baptized in the Holy Ghost? Have you ever given God the opportunity to show Himself glorious in you? Because God is a gentleman. I told you He was. He's not going to come and grab you by the hair and jerk you off this planet and say, listen, if you don't do what I tell you, I'm going to... No, sir, He can do that. He's going to gently move on your life. And if you respond, thank God. And if you don't, someday, unfortunately, He will be your judge. Yes. But you hear me real plain. God never sent anyone to hell. That's right. If you choose Jesus, you're on your way. If you disregard Jesus, you're on your way. Right. You, you know, listen to me. Positive, negative, light and dark. See, that's all on the left side. Darkness. Unbelieving. The devil. Negative fear. Over here is faith. And how many of you know the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, the Bible says that he that believeth must believe, he, you know, he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. See, faith is what God responds to. Faith is where God lives. Just the truth. Everybody say, I'm right. You bet. Say, I'm right. Come on, help yourself. I'm the righteousness of God. It's the same thing. See, because you believe, that means you're the righteousness of God. You're right. You're sitting presently. The Bible says we're seated with Him in heavenly places right now in Christ Jesus. You are suddenly pres presently sitting on the right hand of the Father. And I'm telling you something because you're right. Because God, by His grace, He's imputing His righteousness in you. And you became everything He was looking for because of Jesus. That's right. Amen. How simple can that be? Sure. See, it's not a matter of what you do or don't do. It's a matter of Jesus in your life or not. That's, right. That's the whole thing. That's the reason this community, everybody in this community needs to be born again. Walking with, and I'm not saying that you're superhuman as much as you're superhuman when you get born again. You've still got these problems that you, you know, like somebody said, you still have hangups that haven't been hung up. But nonetheless, you are a Christian, and a Christian is forgiven. They're not perfect. But we're working towards that. We're, 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 like Paul said in Philippians, he said, I'm, I'm pressing on. I'm, I'm, I'm pressing for that thing that I've been apprehended for. Which was the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Read it yourself. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Aren't you glad you're the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus? I'm glad I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. That's who I am. Listen to me. I am not trying to be. I am. You know how I am? Because Jesus said I was. He said He said He was He became the He became sin for me in order that I might become the righteousness of God in Him. And as long as I stay in Him, bless God, you can say anything you want to, but I am the righteousness of God in Him. You can hate me or whatever, but I'm going to win because God's for me, not against me. That's what the Bible says. Now. <coughs> Let me explain something to you. Did you know God is infinite? You can't get enough of Him. Let me explain it to you this way. I don't know about the dark side. I don't know how dark you can go. I don't know. And I really don't even care. But I can tell you this much. If it's anything like math, did you know that the numbers on the left side go infinite? Just like they do on the positive side infinite. Did you know that? You do that. See, math is... Did you know that because of the, 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 uh, the, the incredible wisdom and the power of Almighty God, the stars are in perfect time. And because of that, they have mathematical equations that work. And they do certain things and they can calculate everything because God is perfect. He's a perfectionist. God help me. But I want to tell you something. The math is, 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 is incredible because it, it shows the incredible mind of God. I, I've been doing math with Maddie, okay? I realize it's seventh grade math. Does everybody say seventh grade math? It blows my mind. I want you to come and help me. You know, it's algebra, pre-algebra, and I'm going, well, I like math and I do all right at it. But some of this stuff blows me off. I'm going, what is, I don't even know how to do this. But it's, it, it works. 
But I want to tell you something. I started by saying this. God's infinite. You know, the Bible says, listen to me, the Bible says the heavens of heavens can't even contain Him. I mean, the other night I walked out, it was like 2.30 in the morning, I walked outside and I looked outside. I went, wow. Have you ever done that? Wow. There was, a, there was a cluster of stars way out there in the west. I looked out there and I'm going, man, I ain't never saw those before. And they were just way out there, just barely able to see them. I don't know how far it might be. How many millions of light years? Who knows? But you know what? God sets up in His heaven, whatever that means, and there ain't one of them He don't have a name for. And there's not a one of them that He don't hold in the palm of His hand and controls them. What a God. What a God. You say, I can't believe that. That's because you're human and you can't imagine the infinite glory and the power of the Almighty God. And I have a relationship with Him. You know what? I've seen God do amazing things. I've seen Him do miracles in people's lives. Get them healed. Get them saved. Raise them from the dead. You say, you're kidding me. I'm not kidding you. I am 51 years old and I do not lie. I'm telling you, I've seen it happen. I've seen God do amazing things. You know why? Because He created this stuff. I'm 52 years old. I'm 51. <laughs> See, and I don't lie. <laughs> See, I tell you what, once in a while, hey, listen, once in a while I pitch them out there just to see if y'all are awake. See, I got myself off the hook there. I am 53, as a matter of fact. I'm so used to being 51, I forgot. I forget that I have birthdays like the rest of y'all. Larry's going to have a birthday. Where's Larry? Here, way back from the point. He's going to have a birthday. We've got to have a birthday party for Larry, okay? Amen. He's going to be 58. Oh. Yeah, he's getting old. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he loves me right now. 58, see? Yeah, you're all right. You see that? If I told you to relate, you shoot God is infinite. And He's infinite in power and glory. And I said that to say this. Listen to me. How many of you want to be positive? Because I want to get on negative in a minute. You want to be positive? Yeah. Get more of Jesus. That's all you got to get. I told Kelly the other day, I said, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think I told her the whole thing, but so much of the time we get focused on this and on that and the other, and all we need is Jesus. We don't need this, that, and the other. We need Him. You know, every now and then I'll say, man, I need more money. I'll say, no, I need more Jesus. If I have more Jesus, I'll be wiser. And I'll be better. And I'll be more, I'll be more understanding. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I keep thinking to myself, Larry, don't seek the healing. Seek Jesus. He's my healer. And He'll come and He'll give me that healing that I need. You say, have you ever been healed? Yeah, I've been healed. Does God heal today? Absolutely no question about it. He certainly do. He's still the same yesterday, today, and forever. And whatever He does then, He'll do today. Because He don't change and He don't change His mind. How many of you want to be more positive? Come on, help me here. Get more of Jesus. Say, man, you're a Jesus freak. You betcha. That's exactly what I am. Because He's the answer to your life. Let me tell you something. If you want depression to run, get Jesus. If you want addiction to run, get Jesus. If you want glory in your life, get Jesus. He is the King of glory. If you want oppression, oppression, and if you want disease, and you want all those things to go, get Jesus. Call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll be saved. And that means completely delivered. He that the Son makes free is free indeed. I'm not saying that it's going to happen in a minute. It may. I know people who were amazingly addicted in a mess. And they called on the name of Jesus. And that second, they were delivered from drugs, cigarettes, alcohol, lust. Everything. You can just name it. Totally changed person. Come back to church and going, who are you? Well, I'm so and so. Well, what happened to you? Well, I don't know, but Jesus came into my life and something that happened. That's what happens. You say, how do you know? Because I know people just like that. I know them personally. Yes. Right, let me explain something to you. You'll never change my mind. You know why? Because I have experience. I've told you that a thousand times. You can say, well, you're weird and you have a crutch. You can do this, you can do that. You can't change my mind. And I really don't care about your opinion. It stinks. If you don't like what I'm saying, it's not my opinion. It's the Word of God. And you've got to answer to Jesus for it, not me. But I'm glad that He's a kind, 